Hello everybody, Akamatsu here with a thoughts video, this time on Final Fantasy IV, our fourth game in our Final Fantasy Marathon. Now, just like Final Fantasy III, this was a Final Fantasy that I have heard nothing about over the years. I've never heard anyone say that they liked it, I never heard anyone say that they disliked it prior to me starting the game. It was a very blank slate, so I went into it completely blind. Now, as always, let's start off with the things that I liked. The first one being that this is a major upgrade into the presentation and delivery of the story. They did a fantastic job with cinematic cutscenes from the very beginning of the game. You can just see the difference in comparison to 1 and 3. It kind of has a little similar vibe to Final Fantasy 2 in a way. We get the main character. We have this cutscene with these ships. We have music. We have motivation. We got flashbacks. Later in the game, we have like, meanwhile, over here. Then they go into story plot with characters completely in a different place and not just focusing on what's going on at the moment like the first three games did. And it made me think that this was probably a byproduct of just experience and probably superior hardware now that this is the first Final Fantasy on the Super Nintendo. They did a fantastic job with upgrading the story, making it a more cinematic experience into what people think of Final Fantasy now. When you think of 7, 10, 12, 15, you have to go back and thank Final Fantasy IV, because that is what set the tone for all the games that followed. Branching off from what I just talked about, your teammates and your characters all have their own aspirations, goals. They have more personality than they ever had before. Unlike Final Fantasy III and I, where you get to name the character and they don't really have an identity, it's more aligned with Final Fantasy II, but even better. They have their own names filled out. They have their own motivations. They have goals they want to accomplish. It was just really fresh to see that these characters were fleshed out. Not only that, unlike Final Fantasy III and two and one, this is the first time in the series that we see job identity tied to a character. Hey, everybody. Editor Matsu here. I wanted to clarify something by me saying that Final Fantasy IV is the first game that we have job identity. That is not 100% true, as I forgot about Richard, the Dragoon, in Final Fantasy II. But I do think my point stands that while Richard was technically the first, Final Fantasy IV is the one that really latches onto this idea and nails it home. So one part's not true, but I think the general idea is still solid. So, back to the video. So what I mean is there's a character called Kane, and he's very much a dragoon. Now, there is no changing Kane into a warrior like there was in Final Fantasy III. It's very much like, let's say, I guess, Final Fantasy VII, where everybody has their identity. The main character is a dark knight, we have the white mage, we have the summoners, we have the mages. Everybody had their own individual job identity, and it spanned off into their backstories a bit for everybody. It was really cool to see them identify characters with jobs in this game, and I appreciated it. As much as I love the job system in Final Fantasy III, I like both takes on this. I like having the ability to choose the job, and I like the ability of having the job and the character present it to me. And that will segue into my last note I have in the good section, and that is that Final Fantasy IV goes back to Final Fantasy II and has a great bad guy. The bad guy is present. The bad guy is talked about. The bad guy does stuff. We see bad guy. Bad guy is not just chased. <laughs> He's present. He's portrayed really well. The portrayal of the bad guy, Golbez, is fantastic. They did a job well done. I loved it. Got nothing bad to say about it. He was 
Easily one of the coolest characters in the game. And I'm happy that they went back to this after what they did in 3. Again, if you watch my thoughts video on 3, I said I had no bad things to say about 3. And that hasn't changed. But I really liked what they did in Final Fantasy 2. And I like the fact that they went back to it. Now let's jump into the things that I was neutral about. Particularly the things that I didn't overwhelmingly love but didn't really dislike a whole lot. And that has to do with the party members, I guess you could say. You get a lot of party members, guest characters throughout the game. And I was not really sure if I should have invest money into them. Now, I noticed way later into playthrough that if you buy gear for them, you give it to them. And when they leave, you get the gear back. I don't know if they did that in Final Fantasy 3. If they did, I never noticed. Do you have an answer for that? Let me know down in the comments below. But in 4, they do. But I wish I would have picked up on that way earlier. Because after a while, you get quite a few party members. And I just got to the point that I was like, when are they going to leave? How long are they going to stay with me? So I didn't know if I should invest money into them or not. It left me with this indecisiveness. I invested in some and it worked out. I invested in some and it didn't work out. Luckily, when I found out later, I got the equipment back. Like I said earlier, it was no big deal. But I really wish I would have noticed that, I guess, earlier. That's my bad. I'm not going to really knock the game for that. Not really something I particularly loved or enjoyed. Didn't really hamper my gameplay experience. That's about the only neutral thing I have with this game. Now let's jump into the things that I didn't like. Now, first off, it's going to be a story spoiler, but I'm not really going to talk about it. I know that doesn't make sense, but hear me out. There are certain events in the story that happens. And after a while, it gets old. That's pretty much all I want to say. Didn't really have too many negative things to say about the game. The story stuff was the biggest negative that I would have about the game. For the most part, Final Fantasy IV is a fantastic FF game. It has likable characters with personality. The story is good despite my grievances. The bad guy is entertaining. A lot of challenging fights. The exploration is great just as much as 3 is. Overall, you can't go wrong with Final Fantasy 4. That's going to be it for my thoughts video for today. What did you think about Final Fantasy 4 yourself? Did you enjoy it? Did you not like it as much as the other ones? Let me know in the comments below while you're down there. If you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a like and share it with your friends. That stuff really helps me out. And if you would like to join us during our Final Fantasy Marathon, we're going through currently 23 games. I may add a game or two. <laughs> you can find me over at twitch.tv forward slash Akamatsu. I stream every day at 2 a.m. Eastern time. We'd love to have you. I'd like to thank you so much for making it this far in the video. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you all in the next one. Stay crunchy, amigos.